Trying to get a good deal on eBay? How hard can that be? Okay, so uh, I'm here in the railway room and um, I've bought a few things off eBay. Uh, I want to open them up and have a look at what they are. Now, uh, most of these things I bought about six months ago, um, but it's taken me so long uh, to do some work on the layout and sort of get to a point where I've got trains uh, running around in a circuit and I've, I've sort of set trains to run around uh, while I'm doing this. So if you get bored, you can watch those. Um, but uh, anyway, I bought some stuff, you know, off eBay over the last uh, uh, six months or so, um, and some of it I haven't even opened yet. Um, I literally, I've not wanted to distract myself. I wanted to just concentrate on getting the trains running on a circuit. So now, finally, I get to uh, open uh, some of these boxes. Now, this is uh, this is the first one I bought. This is the one in particular. I want to see what's in here. I sort of know what's in here, um, because obviously I bought it, um, but it was a long time ago, I can't remember exactly what it is, and I want to know whether I've got a good deal or not. So I've got here a craft knife, and let's just chop it open. Oh dear. Always interesting to see how, how well people package stuff up when they sell things on eBay. Uh, I know... If I sell anything on eBay, I always do my best, but you know, you have to sort of work with what you've got, really, don't you? Um, anyway, hopefully, this will be all right. It doesn't look damaged, so I'm sure it's fine. Obviously, I, I bought this six months ago, so if there's any problems, it's uh, <laughs> I'm not going to get my money back. Uh, let me get this open. Fun. Now, I know this particular box, this is a bunch of different stuff. I bought it for 150 quid. And uh, I think oh, there's, another, <laughs> there's another box inside. It's a box within a box. That's the, that's the principle of packing things well to the post, is the idea of the floating box. I'll put that down there. Um, so I bought this for 150 quid, and I, I know that in here there are some things that I want, and there's also uh, some things that I don't need, put it that way, um, or some things that I've already got. So, you know, if I need to, I can get rid of them or resell them or whatever. Uh, but let's see. So obviously here there's a uh, there's a big load of Graham Farage. Uh, boxes. There we go. I've got the tape on one of the boxes. It's not very good. Okay. Um, I'll get it. I'm just going to put it down here, probably out of out of shot from the camera. I'll tell you what. I'm going to put it here. Can I? There we go. Right. Well, let's go through. So this is the first thing. So this is a coach. Um, it says this is a 57 foot May 9 coach, LMS Crimson Lake. So Crimson Lake is the colour um, that LMS uh, painted some of their stuff. That's uh, the sort of the LMS uh, red colour. Um, Crimson Lake is not the same as BR Maroon. Um, and I think BR Maroon is just slightly darker. And it's easy to mistake something that's painted up Crimson Lake for being BR Maroon. Uh, one of the differences is if it's uh, 
If it's LMS Crimson Lake, it'll probably have an LMS crest on it, and particularly for the Stania coaches, but we'll, we'll come on to that in a minute. This isn't a Stania coach. This is a 57-foot coach. Uh, and this is mainline. Now, I know some are mainline and some are suburban. Not quite sure what the difference is. I think it's to do with the number of doors. So this has got... There we go. I'll put, I'll put pictures up. Um, this has got four doors. One, two, three, four. Uh, and two of them are first class and two of them are third class. So that's, uh, I think, what, that's what's called a composite coach. Uh, sort of mixed class accommodation. Anyway, that's it. Now, I don't... I'm not massively keen on these. What I really want is Stanier coaches. Um, I've got quite a few Stanier coaches. In fact, this, this train here that's running around, those are all Stanier coaches. Part of the problem I've got is that I've got too many brake coaches. I want to have, well, there I've got what, six coaches in a train. Um, so that's good. I like that. Um, but uh, only one that needs to be a brake. So I need five that aren't brakes. And for some reason, there seems to be loads more brake coaches around than there are non-brakes uh, non or not more, but, you know, there aren't enough non-brake coaches. Depends how long your train's going to be. Perhaps Perhaps uh, Graham Farish decided that most people weren't going to have very long trains, so they made lots of brake coaches. Right, I've got a couple more here. These are also non stanier ones. Um... This says, oh, that's a bit funny. It's got the, the code changed on it. Let, let me come back to that one. I'm trying to work out what it is later. This one says, uh, 57 foot brake end coach, mainline. So that's a brake coach, but it's a mainline one that goes with the one that I've just had a look at. There we go. Um, Again, that's mixed accommodation, first and third, and it's brake. And it's got, you see, it's got these sort of panels painted on. The Stanier coaches don't have that, so that's different. One of the reasons I, don't, I prefer the Stanier coaches is it's a more, it's a more modern model, and they've got better, um, better wheel sets. I think they run a bit better, and probably better couplings as well. We'll come on to that in due course. Put that with that one. Okay, let's crack on, see what else is in the box. Um, right, this is another, <laughs> there's more of the same. That's mainline as well. Mainline brake end coach. That's another, oh, yeah, that's the same as the one I was just looking at. Stick there, that in the pile. But I, I don't, I don't mind having a sort of like a mainline train um, and a suburban train. But it's not really what I want. But I'll see what I've got. Um, I'm trying to... What I'm hoping is I can make up some sort of Stania trains. And here we go. This is a Stania coach. Uh, but it's a brake one. Stania brake third. So it's third class. It's a brake coach. Um, so I don't really need that. Um, and I will uh, I'll probably see if I can resell it. Right. What's the next thing we got? Uh, then we've got another Stania Brake, first, Stania Brake first, as opposed to Stania Brake third. Same thing, different number on the door, I think, it's as simple as that. Again, that's that's one I don't really want. I've not actually found anything I want yet, which is very good. So, the Stania coaches, I, I could probably resell them on eBay for 20 quid, if I'm lucky. Um, I think if you want to buy the one you want now, today, you've got to be willing to pay at least 25. But I think if you bide your time, you can probably get a, a standard coach for 20 quid. Um, all right, let's have a look. What else have we got? Let's take one of the... Oh dear. Right, so it's more of the same. There we go. That one, that is a 37 foot brake. Another brake coach, uh, brake end, sub, suburban, I think maybe that means, LMS Crimson Lake. So that's a suburban coach. Now the difference, what is the difference between suburban and mainline? And what's that one? That says mainline. Now I always understood, I always thought the difference was 
the number of doors. I sort of thought the mainline coaches have less doors. Uh, so this one's got one, two, three. It's got six doors on it. That's a break. Um, but this one says mainline. That's got six doors as well. It might be that's in the wrong box. I'm going to have to look into exactly what the difference between the mainline coach and the suburban coach is. But I think that's it. I think it's to do with the number of doors. Uh, see what else have we got. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. Struck gold. Uh, Stanier Vestibule third. So this isn't a brake coach, it's a Stanier coach. It's not a brake. Um, it's all third class and it's a vestibule. And I think vestibule means it's got like a corridor up the side and you have you have little compartments. Um, don't really do trains like that anymore, do they? Anyway, I think, so that's definitely, that's one that I want. So, so far, it's 150 quid. And I've got one coach that I want. Uh, so, yeah, 150 quid a coach is no good. Here's another one I don't want. Uh, suburban coach, it says. Suburban coach, and that's mixed accommodation, first and third. There you go. So I'll stick that on the suburban pile. Right. Let me get another one. Another one I don't really want. <laughs> this says mainline coach. LMS Crimson Lake. So that's vestibules. Uh, it's corridor right the side. It's first and third. There we go. Um, and that. It's got modern wheels over, that's good. Uh, it's got slightly funny couplings. And it says it's mainline, it's only got four doors. So I think that is a mainline coach. If if I'm right, well, what the difference is between suburban and mainline. So I'll stick it on the mainline pile. But hey, another one. Uh, Stania Vestibule 3rd. It's the same as the other one I want that I'm, I'm going to keep. It's all third class. Uh, it's not a brake coach. I'll stick that on the keep pile. So, £75 a coach uh, for the ones that I actually want. I know, I'm hoping there's a few more that I want. I mean, I, I bought it on having worked this out. I just can't remember. Um, but, you know, if the ones I want, if I'm paying 20 quid each, I'll be satisfied. And I'll get a load of other stuff I don't want going to talk about that. Ah, now this is this is a Stanier coach, composite third and first. Um, so it's third class at one end, first at the other. It's not a brake coach. That's that's a keeper. I'll put that in the keep bar. Uh, here we go. This looks like a suburban. There you go. Suburban coach, LMS Crimson Lake. That can go on the suburban path. So I think what I might do, I end up with a, a mainline train, a suburban train, and then obviously I have several standard trains. I think I need I need to look into the time period and you know when these coaches change and all that to be prototypical, as they say. Uh, that's that's one that I want. Uh, this is a Stania, first class, uh, not a brake one. As I say, Stania first corridor coach. I can see actually that's got a corridor up the side. I don't know, what, what, what does vestibule mean then? I need an answer to that. Anyway, but that's that's good. I'm happy with that. I'll keep that. So that's four now that I want. So what are we down to? Uh, 30 something. Yeah, 30 something quid. Uh, 37, 37 quid each for the ones that I want. Not the best deal in the world. Nice. Uh, oh, this is what I want. Uh, third and first. Vestibule composite. Third stroke first. All right. That's definitely what I want. I want one of those. Put those in the keep pile. Uh, 
This looks like a Suburban. You get Suburban coach, not a brake. You can get a Suburban par. And we, uh, here we go. All first class, all first class Stadia Corridor. There we go, that's a keeper. So that's six and I won. So what's, what are we down to there? 25, 25 quid. 25 quid? Yeah, 25 quid a coach for the ones that I want. Uh, so Stania coach, but it's a break. Third class break. Stania. Don't want that. Uh, that can go with the cell bar. So that's three break coaches I don't need. Oh wow, it's got two more here. Uh, so these are in slightly different packaging. See the packaging of that? Uh, that's all third class. And here's another one similar, third class and first class. So these ones go together. Doesn't quite say what it is. No. But I can tell this is a, I mean, I think these are suburban. I think these are both suburban. This one looks like a brake, actually. It's got a door for the guard. Um, yeah, it's got plastic wheels and it's got funny plastic couplings. I'll show you pictures of these. So I'm not massively keen on these. I think these, these aren't going to run very well. But maybe I can make up a train on them. In particular, I don't like the model because the, the glazing is like really far recessed from the surface uh, of the coach. Um, it's maybe a whole millimetre recess, which in scale would be what, six inches. Um, you know, you're not going to have your window that far back from the side of the coach, are you? So, not great. Uh, but I don't think that they're not really worth anything either. Look at that. It, they were sold, they were bought for £1.50 each. That's what they priced at. So goodness knows when that was. Right. We don't really want those, but we got them. And this last one. So I think based on the number of doors, this looks like a suburban composite, third and first, metal wheels. That can go on the suburban train. So, we have a look at what we've got. We've got six that we want. That's great. £25 a piece. And then we've also got on top of that uh, a suburban coach, a suburban train with maybe four, possibly five coaches, and a main loan train with maybe four coaches. We'll have to see what they run like, see what it looks like. Um, so I could do that. And then... Here I've got three brakes, which I don't want. Um, but maybe I could I could flog them on eBay. Let's say I've got 20, well, 20 quid, 15 quid. Say I've got 20 quid, uh, that'd be 60 quid. Uh, so what's that? Uh, that means I've, I've paid 90. Uh, I've paid 90 quid for my six. Uh, so what's that? 90 quid divided by six is 15 pounds. Which is a good price. So, if I can, if I can shift some of these on eBay, um, I've got six coaches that I want for £15, and a couple of trains of coaches I'm not really bothered about, but I can have a look at and make things fun. So, here we go. Okay, so that's my big box of goodies off eBay. Uh, I've also got a whole load of coaches out of it. Pretty pleased with what I got there. Um, but that's not all that I bought. Uh, I've got another box. And that's this one here. Now, actually, I have already opened this, so I know what's in it, uh, but I'd like to show you. There's a couple of things. The first is this. Now, uh, this is another coach, uh, but it's slightly different. Uh, it says here, there you go, Engage Society exclusive model. Uh, so this is obviously a bit rarer. And it says on the end, this is an inspection saloon. LMS Unlined Crimson Lake. So 
Uh, it's, it's obviously in Crimson Lake. It says it's unlined, and that there's no line down the side uh, like the Stanier coaches have got. Um, I don't know what the significance of that is, um, but obviously I can look it up, like everything else. Um, but in particular, this coach has got windows. It's, it's slightly short, and it's got windows on the front and the back. As I understand, the idea of this is that it would be pushed um, along the track um, by the loco, and you could have a, um, uh, an engineer um, uh, or a, uh, uh, a surveyor or an inspector um, uh, having a look at the track uh, as, as it gets pushed along uh, in order to do, do a sort of survey or um, check the state of the uh, state of the track. So I'm going to have a little train uh, going around, just a little loco of some sort, just pushing this thing around, appearing every now and again. That'd be great fun. So that's definitely a keeper. Um, I think I paid 25 quid for this. Um, if you want to buy one today, definitely just get it. Then you probably end up paying about 40 quid once you pay for the postage. Um, but uh, anyway, I bided my time and I got this for 25. I was quite, I was quite pleased. But obviously, that's that's not cheap. Um, everything, all these models are expensive. So that's that one. Uh, and the last thing is this. Now, this is obviously a loco. It says on the side, this is a 4P class, tender loco, LMS Maroon. Um, so this is a Stania 4P or a Fowler 4P? I'm not sure. Um, it's sometimes, oh, that's it. It's sometimes known as a, a Midland composite, or maybe the, the, the 4P is a sort of, you know, the same thing, but bit upgraded or something. Um, I think the Midland Composite sort of came from when it was Midland Railway, um, before that sort of became part of LMS. Anyway, uh, the 4 is a sort of power rating, I think. So 4 sort of means it's sort of mid-range, um, and the P means passenger. Um, so that suggests that uh, uh, it's more efficient sort of running at higher speeds. If it was a a loco for freight trains so that would be more efficient running a bit slower a bit 4F um, so I've got this because when I was a child um, I had a double O layout and my main loco um, well I had, I had an APT that was my main my main loco but my main loco um, you know the best loco was one of these was a, was a 4P um, and uh, it was number 1000. This one's uh, number 1111, so that's fun. Um, but uh, you know, I had, I had the, one, the Hornby uh, number 1000, and that had a smoke generator in it. You could put, it had, it had like a syringe, you could inject a little bit of smoke oil into the, uh, had like a tray underneath the, the funnel, and that would then heat up and it would make smoke. Well, the problem was, if you knock the train, the loco off the track, then the oil would spill everywhere inside the loco, and then the whole thing got covered in oil. And the next time you turned it on, everything got hot, and there was like smoke coming on everywhere. Um, but it was a it's, knackered up the box. Um, but it was great fun. I wanted a DCC conversion on this, and uh, I've also got myself a tiny little smoke generator thing and I want to see if I can put that in this. Um, I'm going to have to take off the smoke box thing, at the piece at the front, drill it out, create a sort of cavity inside and, and then wire it up to the, the DCT decoder. So the whole video is going to be on that, um, trying to make that work. So that's a nice big project in itself. Right, but I've still got one more thing uh, to show you. I've opened this already, I know what it is. It's in here. That is this. Now, this is a bit of an abomination. Um, it says on the end, uh, this is a class 50 uh, LMS maroon with gold bands. And it's loco number 50017. Um, now this is an abomination because class 50s didn't exist when uh, LMS uh, was running. Um, so this never existed. 
although it did because uh, this particular loco, to understand, is now uh, like a heritage loco. Um, it's been restored and at one point it was painted up in LMS colours, the Crimson Lake. Um, not quite sure why, presumably for a bit of fun. Um, and the gold bands, it's got a whole bunch of gold stripes down the side. That's what the, the streamlined coronation class locos had. Uh, they had uh, sort of gold bands going down the side of the loco and then down the side of the coaches as well. So presumably this pulled a rake of coaches, uh, painted up in LMS with, with LMS Crimson Lake with gold bands on the side. Um, so I've got to do a DCC conversion on this. Um, and I'm going to see if I can put sound in as well. I've got a speaker that I think is going to fit inside. Uh, so obviously there'll be a video on doing that. And I'm going to think about what it's going to pull. Because um, it's got gold bands. Now, I don't think you can get... I mean, I've looked around, but I haven't seen any uh, anyone doing coaches and LMS uh, with gold bands down the side. Um, but uh, maybe I could, I could do a paint job on... On some, I don't really want to mess up. I imagine this would be supposed to be putting Stanley coaches, but it's not supposed to be putting anything because it doesn't exist. Um, so what I might do is take some of the gash uh, coaches that I've got there, you know, the the ones that I don't want, and I could do a paint job on them, paint them, you know, just redo them, paint them in Crimson Lake, and then find a way of putting some gold bands up the side. So there's a whole bunch of fun to be had doing that. So look, I'm, uh, I'm really glad you've joined me uh, for this video uh, while I've been sort of opening my Christmas presents. I've been waiting six months to open uh, some of that stuff. Uh, so that's great fun. Um, and perhaps you got bored. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing the trains running around. Uh, it's just nice to have the computer driving the trains and providing a bit of interest. Uh, so I think that's, that's great fun. And uh, yeah, I'll say goodbye there. Hopefully I'll see you on the next video.